guys, I'm Tyler with A3 out in Bakersfield, California. Today we're going to go through some basic functions and how to use the touch screen and administer a session with your space cabin by Cryosana. So first off, when you turn on the unit, which is in the breaker in the cabinet, this is your home screen that you're going to arrive to. So again, this the whole purpose of this video is to go through just basic functions. There's a lot of manufacturer defaults. Remember the folks over at Cryosana know what they're doing. They're experts in this and their manufacturer defaults for a reason. So don't get too caught up in making too many different adjustments because you don't want to decrease the experience for your clients. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to touch this icon. It's the hand. And what you have is you've got a snowflake and then you've got the air waves there at the top. So the snowflake is how you're going to chill the unit. So right now, as you can see, that it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit. It needs to be significantly colder than that. You've got a default timer of three minutes. So what you're going to do is you're going to press the snowflake. And what that's going to do is it's going to charge or prime the unit and start to chill it. So when you open the door, what you'll notice is there's going to be come a rush of cool air and nitrogen is going to start to flow through the unit. And so you'll just keep that door closed and you'll be able to notice on the temperature icon that the temperature will start to drop. So once you're down into that negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit is typically where we start our clients just based on how cold tolerant they are to begin with. And just a safe measure is to just simply wait for the three minute timer to be up. I don't suggest stopping it or interrupting it. Just let it, let it do its thing. If you need it to get cooler just because of the temperature of the unit or the temperature of the room, just hit it for another three week cycle. So we're gonna let this dial all the way down to zero and then we'll be right back. All right guys, welcome back. So the unit's been properly chilled. It's around that negative 100 degrees Fahrenheit. So what you're gonna do is you're going to actually tab over this is your operating screen right here. So you have the hourglass icons, positive and negative. This allows me to set my time. So Jamie's with us today. He's an elite level soccer player getting a cryo session in. He has done it a couple times already. So we're gonna increase his time to about two minutes and 10 seconds. And so what he's going to do is step into the unit. And then what we are going to do is make sure he's safely inside. And then from here, That's our secondary pressure regulator for the nitrogen tank. It's normal. We're going to go ahead and press this up arrow button. And what this is going to do is raise Jamie up so he's at a safe level. His shoulders are right at the uh, height of the unit here so that his head and neck are safely above the, the nitrogen. So right when he's there, I'm going to stop raising him. And there's a, a platform inside that he's actually standing on. So what Jamie's gonna do is he's gonna place his hand safely outside the unit. I'm gonna go ahead and, and press play. I don't need to worry about any of these other icons here right now. Um, like I said earlier, the manufacturer defaults are gonna work perfectly. If you have any questions, you can contact them. They'll be able to help you out and actually work on your unit remotely via Wi-Fi. So what Jamie's gonna do, in addition to having his hands outside of the unit, he's just gonna turn clockwise because what you have to understand is that the nitrogen is being dispersed out in a whirl effect. So that dry, cold air doesn't, we don't want it to get hung up on his body because where I showed you earlier where that nitrogen is coming out of, you don't want that spot to get hung up, up against his skin. How are you feeling? Good. Good. So you want to make sure that you're talking to the client, making sure that they're breathing normally. You want to make sure you're paying attention to them, checking for any, you know, safety indications like being lightheaded, dizzy. You want to make sure that they're they're breathing normal. They're they're feeling as comfortable as can be with a negative 180 degrees Fahrenheit going against their skin. But if you join me back over here on the screen, what you'll be able to monitor here is you can actually check with your client Jamie, you got 48 seconds left. You want me to add time or decrease time, right? So they can add time 
in 10 second increments or maybe it's feeling a little bit cold they're feeling a little uncomfortable you want to rush it you can decrease the time as well and then you have your temperature there so typically when we finish off with clients it's it's around that negative 250 degrees fahrenheit um, peak and if for any reason there's an emergency or, or something happens you can actually hit the uh, start stop emergency button or you can simply just hit the stop button there and what keep in mind that platform is going to lower him you can see that he's dropping and then you want to make sure that he safely steps out so if you have any questions you can give us a call 661-885-8889 or shoot us an email info at a numerical3bakersfield.com. Hope you enjoyed today's video.